This was me back in 2019. I was an average looking Asian guy with a scrawny body. This is me now, in the middle of 2023. What's the difference? Hey guys, Damon here. To start becoming more attractive as a man, the first step is to build more muscle. But this is easier said than done. Which part of your body should you target and how exactly does muscle growth work? To better understand muscle and attractiveness, let's take a look at different angles of how people see you in daily life. When people see you from the front, the first thing that they will notice is your chest. This is why it's important to take the time to train your chest muscles for them to pop out. Here's how you can do that effectively. I focus on three main exercises when I go to the gym. The bench press, the cable fly, and the cable machine. The bench press allows me to target my entire chest to achieve a basic foundation. I recommend anybody starting out to work on the bench press first. Work in weight ranges that allow you to lift for 5 sets of 8 to 12 reps. The cable machine on the other hand allows me to isolate my chest and creates that deep chest line that people deem to be attractive. Finally, the cable fly allows me to isolate my upper chest for the extra pop out. If you do not have access to a gym or you prefer to do calisthenics, here's how you can train your chest at home. I recommend starting with push-ups. Push-ups are the basic foundational exercise in bodyweight training that work the shoulders and triceps other than the chest. For effective chest growth, don't focus on wrapping out your push-ups. Instead, focus on doing the reps slowly and feeling your chest work in every single rep. Pause at the bottom of the rep if you have to. A slow and controlled form-based training will always give better results than one that is explosive and based off of the number of reps that you do. For better and more effective upper chest activation, you can try doing push-ups with your legs on a slightly elevated surface if you have a low chair or platform at home. Be sure to use a wider grip to feel a bit of tension in your upper chest when you work on the push-ups and hold at the bottom position when you carry out your reps. If you find push-ups too easy to do, you can switch to doing dips. These pushing movements involve your entire body weight and will up the ante for you. Similarly, you should aim to do reps slowly and with control. Pause at the bottom and feel your chest work when you do the dips. Once you get to a point where you can do 5 sets of 10 to 20 reps with little struggle, you should see your chest muscles pop out decently by then. If push-ups or dips are too difficult for you to do, you can start by doing knee on floor push-ups. These push-ups are the building block to regular push-ups and work your chest just as much if you are a beginner. With the same logic as regular push-ups and dips, do these push-ups slow and with control for the most effective growth. If you are new to calisthenics and you can't do a knee push-up yet, or you can already do more than 10 dips in 5 sets and you want to progress in your strength journey, you can check out an ebook that I've recently published that helps anybody from beginners to regular athletes who want to improve in their bodyweight training routine. The link to the ebook will be in the description below. Let's talk about the back view. This is the view that is commonly seen by people. People tend to observe you more when you have your back turned towards them, so this makes your back a crucial muscle to work on. The muscles on your back are important because growing muscles there makes you broader towards the sides. This brings out an emphasis on the top half of your figure to resemble an hourglass and can bring about the illusion of having a wide upper body and a slim waist which are both extremely attractive. To target your lats, the muscles that are in charge of helping you look wider, the lat pull-down machine is your go-to in the gym. Other than helping you to hit your lats, it hits your rear delts as well. Pick a weight where you can hit 5 sets of 8-12 to 12 reps for the most effective muscle gains. If you don't go to the gym however, you can always do regular pull-ups. These are excellent bodyweight exercises for your lats and your rear delts. Now let's talk about one of the most important muscle groups that have the potential to make you look even more attractive, the shoulder delts. When combined with your back, the shoulder delts can grow to give you the Miguel O'Hara look that everybody desires after watching Spider-Man. However, these are the most difficult muscles to target and grow simply because they are just a tiny ball of muscle that is in charge of any form of straight arm movement. These muscles work very closely with your lats and if you go to the gym, the primary focus for the front delt, the shoulder muscles that stand out when people look at you from the front is the dumbbell press. You can combine the dumbbell press together with the front raises to create monster shoulders from the front. 
To hit your side delts, the shoulder muscle that looks biggest when people look at you from the side, you can raise the dumbbell in the angle of your lats. This is commonly known as a side delt lateral raise. If you do calisthenics like me, here is my favourite exercise I do for my lats and my shoulders simultaneously. It's the tucked planche hold. It is fantastic for growing insane shoulder strength and size but it can be difficult for some beginners to do, so here is an easier variation that targets their shoulders and lats as well. These are called planche leans. They require you to get into a push-up position and lean forward with straight arms. Afterwards, return to the original push-up position and repeat the movement. This replicates the front raises in bodyweight training and can be a shoulder killer set. It is one of my favourite shoulder exercises that I still do up till today. If your priority of training is your lats and you have access to neither a pull-up bar or a gym, you can always get my ebook on training with just your body weight where I explain how your lats can be targeted with no need for any equipment whatsoever. The link to the ebook will be in the description below. Now let's talk about your side view. This is where your arms carry the greatest influence. Your arms are the only part of your body that show even when you wear a t-shirt and especially so when you go shirtless. So if you really wish to stand out in attractiveness, do not ignore your arms. Having big arms add to your attractiveness skills in almost all cases, even when you are sitting down. This is awesome for almost any occasion especially for those people who like to take sit down selfies. Your arms are largely separated into two parts, the biceps for pulling movements and the triceps for pushing movements. When you carry out compound pushing movements like the bench press in the gym or the regular push-ups, you are already working your triceps to a certain extent. However, to truly boost tricep growth, I would recommend focusing on the diamond push-ups for beginner athletes and body weight dips for regular athletes. While these two are compound movements, they isolate their triceps to a great extent and were the exercises that I did to get bigger triceps. Your triceps also make up for up to 70% of the entire size of your arm, so focus more on triceps work for your arms to truly stand out. Now let's talk about the biceps. The biceps can make you look outstanding when viewed from the front. Since these make up for only about 30% of your arm, it isn't very difficult to grow them. Here's how to. Pick a weight in the gym that you can curl for 8 to 12 reps with clean form. This weight should not be too light and you should be having minimal struggle when you carry out the set. This will help with the hypertrophic growth of muscles in your biceps. Since the biceps are a small muscle group, don't solely rely on curling heavy weights. Instead, what I recommend doing is picking a light weight and curling a great number of times with a short rest time. If you would like to see an example of a working set that I do for my biceps with a light weight, you can check this video out right here. If you would like to see how I grew my biceps with calisthenics exercises, you can check this video here as well. The links to the videos will be in the description below.